Hey everybody, it's Dandres Beatty and I'm just over here living my best life beyond the lanes. Today we're talking about what is more important, the journey or the destination? Hmm. And I talked to you about um, my first point was there is no destination if you don't have the journey of hard work, if you don't have the journey of setbacks. The third thing that we're going to talk about today is there is no destination without the journey of dreaming, right? How are we going to get to where we want to go if we don't even know where we want to go? And so at a young age, I learned how to dream real big dreams. I actually remember being 12 years old thinking I want to be one of the best bowlers in the world. And I came from a small town in Indiana, Dyer, Indiana. People around me would look at me like, who do you think you are that you think you can become the best in the world at anything? But I was just crazy enough to actually believe that I could. And so I did. In my 20s, I was three-time World Bowler of, of the Year. And I was also inducted into the World Bowling Hall of Fame. So without those dreams at a young age, without knowing that, okay, where do I want to go with this? Um, not only that, but, you know, dreaming of how I'm going to get there. Dreaming about being a collegiate national champion. Dreaming about making Team USA. Dreaming about winning a gold medal on Team USA. I remember the first gold medal I ever saw an American win. 1999, Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, the World Championships. Kelly Kulik. I was 19 years old, you guys. And there was so much that I had to learn. But you have to start somewhere. So there I was at 19, the World Championships. First one that I'd ever bowled. And I did okay. It was like nothing to remember um, personally, except for watching Kelly Kulik win the singles event at the World Championships and seeing the gold medal put around her neck inspired me beyond belief. I thought I was inspired then, I thought I was dreaming then, but it went until that happened, I really didn't know what dreams were. And that's when I began to really dream. I wanted to win gold medals. I wanted to be Kelly Kulik. I wanted to be on that podium, red, white, and blue, national anthem, all these things. I was watching it happen in front of my eyes and that allowed me to dream. And I think other people do that, right? People are in your life and you see them doing something and you feel like they're such an inspiration. And she was to me and I hope that I was for someone else and you might be for someone in your life. But I think that's really important. Dreams don't come true if there's no dreams. And so part of the journey is the dreaming and that gets you to the destination. And another thing, the journey to the destination doesn't happen without self-awareness, without knowing who you actually are, how authentic you are showing up every single day, how people can count on you to be you 100%. So you don't really realize what you're made of until you really do a deep dive inside yourself and like extract it. And for me, that happened in college. There was a lot of things that happened in college that were amazing. National champion, player of the year, student athlete of the year at University of Nebraska. But there are so many things that were hurdles in my life. The, the things that allowed me to be more self-aware. I was secure in who I was. I was happy. I was grateful. I was loving, I was open-hearted, I trusted people, I was grateful for my family and how I was brought up. I was grateful that I found uh, my boyfriend who turned into my husband my freshman year of college. I was grateful for all of that and all the opportunities that I was getting and I was secure in who I was and I was happy. But I realized that there was a lot of people not like me. There was a lot of people that were insecure, that didn't have self-awareness, that didn't know who they were, and they were trying to discover it, and they made my life really hard. 
I remember crying on the phone, calling home from my dorm room to my parents saying, I don't know why they don't like me. I don't know what I need to do. And at the time I didn't realize it, but, but this is true. Secure people have a hard time because when an insecure person sees someone that's secure, they try to make them insecure. But it has nothing to do about the secure person. It has everything to do with the insecure person. And at that time, of course, I didn't understand that. But now looking back, I wouldn't have changed anything. College was hard for me. You know, I, I thought I had friends. I discovered they weren't friends. I thought everyone was like me and open-hearted and loving. And I realized that just wasn't the truth. But the truth is, it wasn't about me. It was about it was about them and it's about their self-awareness. And you know, everybody develops, everybody evolves. And I can say that those those particular people have evolved and they have become secure in who they are. And um, and I know that because of them, I am who I am. So I don't take I don't take any of that away. I don't regret any of it. And if I would had a chance to erase it all and all that heartbreak, I wouldn't because it's made me who I am. And so I want to ask you, what's more important? The journey or the destination? And I want you to tell me in the comments below. And I'll see you beyond the lanes.